As we showed you earlier in the show, Frisco Heritage is off to a nice start this year. Our Dodge City of McKinney inside story found out that with the help of a newcomer on the team, the Coyotes are stepping out of the shadows in Frisco ISD and into the spotlight. When you're an independent school district that has 12 high schools competing in athletics, sometimes it's hard to stand out. In football, when you think of Frisco ISD, you often think of traditional powers like Lone Star, Wakeland, Reedy, and Frisco High. The other schools can sometimes be overlooked. Going into this week, Frisco Heritage was off to a 6-1 start, clinching their first winning season in seven years. But the Coyotes are still flying under the radar, and that's just fine with them. No one's saying our name yet. You know, maybe here at Heritage we're like, you know, making history, but everybody around us, it's, you know, they, they still think we're sorry Heritage. But so I, I think it's good. It, it keeps a fight in us. It keeps, keeps kind of fire on us and uh, a chip on our shoulder. When Kenneth Gilchrist took the head coaching job in 2018, the first thing he did was scrap the playbook. The Coyotes were a team that lit up the scoreboard but struggled to make stops. Gilchrist has emphasized defense, and this season, it's really paying off. Heritage has allowed only just over nine points a game in their six wins as the defense has finally embraced their leading role. Our defense, you know, that they're uh, bend but don't break, so they're going to give up some yards, they're going to give up uh, a few big plays, but they want to bow their neck right there at the red zone and, and not let them get in. That's different. People want to come out and play defense. Uh, people want to come out, you know, make tackles, make plays, and... Uh, just a different environment this year. One of the pleasant surprises on the defense has been junior Obi Udom. The Coyotes defensive end gave up on football after the eighth grade to concentrate on basketball. Coach Gilchrist kept seeing the six foot three, 235 pound power forward in basketball practice and just knew he could make a difference on the gridiron. You know, we worked on o Obi you know quite often at least once a week one of our defensive guys or, or myself would go by and talk to him on the basketball court and just see how he was doing uh, early we we're pressing on him pretty hard later we just talked to him and just try to build that relationship with him and just kept hoping and hoping that he'd come out because we knew the type of player he could be the persistence paid off as Udom finally decided to play both sports and he's been a problem for opposing offenses ever since he has five sacks on the season to lead the coyotes Obi has rededicated himself to the sport and now can see a different path to success at the next level. I think he's got a future in both sports, you know, and it's one of those things that we try to talk to all our kids. Don't pigeonhole yourself into one sport and just, you know, you're, you're closing doors before you allow other doors to be open. My quickness in basketball is able to translate to my quickness in football coming off the edge um, and being able to get under pools and and get to QB, get to the QB quickly. Coach Gilchrist calls Obi a blank canvas. With few bad habits to unteach, Udom is getting better and his love for football grows every day. I love sacking QBs especially like I forgot what I forgot what the rush for sacking QBs felt like and and I'm glad to be a part of this family and this brotherhood. The inside story is brought to you by Dodge City of McKinney, home of the no charge lifetime powertrain warranty.